Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to learn how to solve systems of equations. Big topic. So please get out your math journals. We are continuing to learn how to solve these problems using technology. And that's actually how I'm going to introduce the problems to you. And I actually want to title this, because I recall this being an issue. I want to title this systems of linear equations, because there are other types of equations like quadratic equations, uh, cubic equations, quartic equations, exponential equations, blah, 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 that function differently in many ways. But when we say linear equation, we mean straight lines. That's what linear means. You could look at the part of linear that says L-I-N-E for line. Linear equations are straight lines. Very simply, let me get this underlined here. Does everyone have a protractor? You're going to need it to draw these a couple of pictures. If you need a protractor next to that orange thing of um, pencils, there are uh, protractors. Why do so many people not have the protractor that I gave you? Okay. I wish I, I wish I had the, I wish I had the uh, the kind of funds to have multiple backpacks when I was a kid. I just had the one bag. Okay. All right. Whatever. Just make sure you return that, please, because those are my classroom supplies. Okay. We're going to just start with an example. I, I don't want to give a bunch of theory and definitions. Let's just start with an example. Um, these are called curly braces. You see what I did there? It's a little curly brace. The way you draw it, I'm going to draw it kind of cartoonishly here. You draw the curly brace to come out and then come down like this. Okay, that's what's happening. Anyway, whenever you write a system of equations, that's how you start it. And now you're going to write, we're going to do just two equations to start. Let's write y equals 2x plus 1. And y equals negative 3x plus 5. So the skill that you're actually going to learn today is how to solve the system. Okay, so this there's something that we need to do. So we need to learn how to solve the system.
basically there is just a single coordinate pair one value of x and one value of y that satisfies this system so you know sometimes we say solve the equation 5x or 5x plus 10 equals 20x minus 2 for x sometimes we say solve for x you can do that when there's one equation and one letter for example in that example that was x the letter i just spoke but when you're given an equation that has two letters y equals 2x plus 1 if they're not very specific types of equations called Diophantine equations, which they're, that's a big topic for college mathematics, Diophantine equations. If they're not one of those special equations that's way beyond the scope of this first Algebra One course, you need two of them. So if you have one equation and two letters, you cannot solve because you're always left with a letter that you don't know what it is. But if you have two of them, you can solve for both letters. Okay? That's the theory. So now that we've written that down, I want to show you visually what the solution looks like. Okay? So first I'm going to prove to you that actually this isn't all that hard. Okay? Mathematically, what I mean by that is symbolically writing it down using the math like you, we were doing before where we write it all down and do this all the steps and parentheses and distributive distributive property and blah 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 that's a little complicated okay but actually getting the answer to this question using Desmos is a joke so I'd like to do the joke first if that's okay because if I do the math, y'all's heads are going to blow up. So let me just show you how easy this really is. And then we'll do the math because we're, we're OG math people, right? We're going to, that's what we're here for. Are you guys doing okay with so far? Do you understand? We're looking for the answer to the question, what is X and what is Y? So usually we're solving for one letter only. Now you're going to learn how to solve for two letters. Okay. So we're going to ogmath.com. And you will come click on Desmos. Okay. Not right now. I'm going to do it uh, from the actual Desmos website. But remember, please don't ever use this because it has features that will not be available to you on the star test. Okay, so here's how easy this is to solve. You see those two equations? We're just going to type them into Desmos. Y equals 2X plus 1. Y equals 2X plus 1. Okay, it plotted the line. Y equals negative 3X plus 5. Okay, do you see that the lines cross somewhere? That's the answer. That's the answer. So go there and click on it. This is the answer. X is this, and Y is this. Do you understand? So what am I telling you? I'm telling you that the coordinates of intersection X comma Y 
are the answer. Okay. I'm going to do it on the board, okay? But I wanted you to see how quickly I solved it, all righty? So right away, do we, do we fear this? It's that easy, okay? So on Desmos, it's literally that simple to do these problems. Now, remember, I, I told you on, on Desmos, it's, it's, it's relatively easy to do these problems. In fact, I would say it's a joke, right? It took, what, two seconds? I would be remiss if I didn't show you how to solve these problems actually the math way. So this is what I want you to write down. Because doing it on Desmos, you're going to be able to get that done on the star test with no issue whatsoever, okay? We're going to learn today something called uh, the elimination method. Okay, there's two methods, elimination and substitution. For some reason, all math textbooks teach substitution first. And I never understood that because it's way harder than elimination. So this is called the elimination method. And what it means is we are going to try to do something where we eliminate one of these letters so that we're only solving for the other letter. Remember, we we already know how to solve for one letter. X equals 2X plus 4. Subtract 4 from both sides minus x on both sides you see we solve there so if we could eliminate say the y or the x if we could make one of those just disappear completely then we would be able to solve the system really easily okay so that's what we're going to do here with this elimination method so let's write this system down again but let's write it kind of like this Right, y equals 2x plus 1. And now it's very important. We are going to stack this second equation right underneath the first equation, keeping each thing lined up, like keep the y's lined up, the equals lined up, the number X lined up, and then the plus number lined up. So we're just, re I mean, we're basically rewriting it. Just be careful that it's all lined up here. Now, take your protractor. and draw a line kind of like you are doing an addition or subtraction or multiplication problem. And we are going to do elimination by subtraction. So now put a little minus sign out to the left. You got to pay attention to this part. It's easy, but if you don't pay attention, it's hard. Don't think too hard about this. What is Y minus Y? Say it louder. Zero. Yes, zero. So put zero. 
Do you see what you just did there? You just eliminated the Y variable. It's gone. Okay. Now, you have to kind of do this, right? You have to use your finger or some pointing device. 2X minus negative 3X. Do it. Uh, 2X minus negative. Minus negative. Minus negative. It's an addition, right? 2X minus negative 3X is the same thing as 2X plus 3X. Do you understand? 2x minus negative. Minus minus is plus, yes? So 2x plus 3x, what is it? 5x. Good. Now, careful here. 1 minus 5. I heard it here. Negative 4. So put negative four. Now, solve this, this single equation. Look, there's no more y. y is bye-bye, okay? Now, solve this equation for x. So I'm going to go plus four. See if I can plus four on both sides. Now I have 5x equals 4. Remember the reflective property of, of algebra? I can write the 5x. I can read this left to right or right to left. doesn't matter. Now what do I do? Final step. Divide both sides by the coefficient of the x variable. What? Divide both sides by 5. Does anyone know their... We used to have to memorize this. Does anyone know their, their fractions of 5 as decimals? So like 1 fifth equals 0. 0.2. 2 fifths equals 0. 0.4. 3 fifths equals 0. 0.6. 4 fifths equals, what do you think it is? 0. 0.8, yeah. That's the trick with the fives as the, the base. And then, of course, 5 fifths would equal 1. So finally, I have x equals 4 fifths, or if I wanted as a decimal, x equals 0. 0.8. Do you understand? Before we go any further, I want to go back and show you what you accomplished. You got this one, okay? You got the X. <clears throat> so now that you have this little jewel, you have one, you have exactly 50% of the answer, right? You know what X is. So all you have to do to get y is pick one of these two original equations and stick this sucker in everywhere you see an x. This, this first one looks easier to me because it doesn't have a negative. Do you, do you see what? Do you agree? Like that one looks easier. So let's go over here and I'll just make some new space over here. I'm going to choose the first equation, and what I'm going to do is substitute in either 4 fifths or 0 0.8 for x. And it's uh, up to you what you choose to do. Without a calculator, it's actually easier to use the fraction. So I'm going to substitute in the fraction. So we're going to write y equals 
to open parentheses 4 over 5 close parentheses plus 1 and if you can do this you're you're going to get y so remember the 2 gets multiplied by the numerator what does the 2 get multiplied by the numerator. What's the numerator, the top or the bottom? Okay. So y equals 2 times 4 over 5 plus, now help me out. How do I write 1 as a fraction with a 5 in it? Great job. 5 over 5. Okay, so let's do some math, folks. What's 2 times 4? Big brain, 8. Now notice something. I have the same denominator. So I can actually write this like you have a common denominator. That's right. So I can actually write this as 8 plus... 5 over 5. Now be careful here. You can't you cannot cancel. You can only cancel when this is a multiplication symbol. You can't cancel this right here. You just have to add the top. What's 8 plus 5? Mm-hmm. 13 over 5. Okay, let's break out that skill that we learned a long time ago called division. And let's do 13 divided by 5 in order to get our decimal. 5 doesn't go into 1, but 5 goes into 13 two times. 2 times 5 is 10. 13 minus 10 is 3. We put a decimal here, and we invent a zero and bring it down and stick it right here to make a 30. Five goes into 36 times. So, two point six is the decimal equivalent of 13 over five. Let's go see. Does it match the same on Desmos? Awesome. We did it. Isn't that amazing? Okay. So here's how you write your answer. You write your answer as a coordinate pair. So X comma Y. Let's do it two different ways. You could write it four fifths comma 13 fifths. Or, um, the reason I'm showing you both ways is I don't know what, you know, on the different tests that you might take over your life, sometimes they'll show the fractions and sometimes they'll show the decimals. You can blame the war between the mathematicians in ancient uh, Middle East area versus the mathematicians in Rome. They had this big battle, okay? And basically, the fraction people were the Middle East people and the decimal people were Rome, and no one won. It, it was just kind of a stalemate. So we're, we, ha we are left with two completely different systems of writing numbers, which kind of leaves us confused a lot of times. What do you think? Was this uh, pretty cool? Good. Well, listen, um, I appreciate your attention on this. It's, it's, uh, it's a fascinating topic. And over time, you will learn how to solve much more complex systems. But for now, we're going to keep it simple.
because I think that was hard enough, right? We can tap the brakes on making it any harder until we get good at this. We're going to learn how to ride the tricycle before we ride the bike. And we're going to learn how to ride the bike before we learn how to ride the scooter. And we're going to learn how to ride the scooter before we ride the Harley and pop it up on one wheel, go down the highway like on a Ducati, right? We're going to do all that in that order. So thank you so much for your attention.